welcome to the new video and the car behind me is the facelifted Peugeot 208 so let's have a closer look at it together so we have this new beautiful color sort of a gr in between green and yellow it's really beautiful and the first thing you might see is the new front mask we have a new daytime running lights the typical tiger running lights so now there are three there were before you might remember there was only one like this we also i think we have a slightly better technology of the of the lights improved um, and then if we go to have a look at it as a whole from the front well we have a new grill that's beautiful and well the new mask it, it's a typical peugeot it's a it's a really nice face to have a to have in your rear view mirror kind of a slightly aggressive for a small car i really do love that the peugeot 208 is one of the most compact cars in the compact b segment which is another thing i love about it it's only long four meters we have a 2.54 meter meter wheelbase i think and let's have a look now we're from the side let's have a look at another new thing and that's the design of the wheel as you can see here so this is a 17 inch wheel and you have these new aerodynamic covers on it apart from the design and the tires are the same 205 45 r17 and we are running quite good amount of caster as you can see and that's a correct thing to have and also what i like about the car here from the side is the conception let me show you so if i open the door and uh, you have a look at where the driver where i'm sitting as a driver so around around there and what that means for the weight distribution is that i'm sitting behind the behind the middle of the wheelbase and that is good for counterweighting the engine at the front um, so really really well resolved uh, from this regard and also i must show you now the Peugeot 208 is the only car in this class to have a massage seat so that is very luxurious now let's have a look into the rear as well i'm not going to sit in there because i'm not going to fit in there to be honest uh, as you might expect well you don't expect too much spaciousness from a small car and it is like that also here in the rear it's more for the children but you still get decent comfort you have two usb connectors one is usb a one is usb c for charging and you have also some netting here and some door bin for a can and also a little space in here so i think quite decent now this is the top of the line gt so it has this gt badge in here which i like and also we get here and as optional this black contrasting roof and a roof spoiler for improved aero efficiency now we also have a new signature of the lights here at the rear they are still very minimalist very sleek uh yeah lovely L literally lovely and if we have a look from the rear this is how it looks and as you might see by this badge this is a new powertrain that is uh, going on after the diesel this is the hybrid and well we're going to talk a little bit more about it but what's still nice is that we still get this dual pipe exhaust and it's a chrome exhaust it's a really nice exhaust and last thing well second to last let's have a look into the boot and this boot is quite surprisingly for me 387 liters of capacity look at that i mean it's a very practical boot in a car that is much smaller than the renault clio while renault clio is a big car and has 390 liters of capacity and it's nice and deep boot and under here what you have here uh yeah that's a repair yeah i don't think there is a wheel but yeah still very practical and the last thing but very important let's have a look at the engine and guys what we are looking at is the new hybrid powertrain that consists of this typical 1.2 liter three cylinder engine with turbo giving you a total 136 horsepower and i think it was 230 newton meters of torque made it to the six speed automatic transmission with electric engine that's why it's not eight speed as we are used to with peugeot which is a great thing that they always have the eight speed and as you can see turbo mounted here at the front slightly new engine cover i have to say there is less plastic this is the sort of a 
yeah, uh, sound isolation only. And what's interesting is this sort of a rubber element in here that is separating, I think, the battery. Well, it's, it's clearly separating something, but yeah, it's a, it's a strange element. I'm not exactly sure what's the purpose of it. Uh, but yeah, this is what the engine bay looks like. 60 ampere hour battery. Um, but yeah, I think now, as, as you might have heard, we are here on my local mountain pass. And as this is such a lovely car to drive because of the geometry, um, well, as you can see, maybe from here, so we have a much bigger camber uh, at the rear, and it seems that we have a toe in. From some, from some angles, it may look like a toe out, but it's actually toe in. I will try to show you like this. Uh, yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's more of a toe in than toe out. And well, what this makes is an engaging car to drive. So let's try how it does on a mountain pass. Okay, well, it's full of motorcyclists, bikers today. But anyway, let's take it for a spin. But we, I'm, I want to connect this part of the video also with the review. So let me talk you first through the interior. First, I will start the car. Nice. So, the interior, not many changes, new upholstery, much more quality Alcantara, which is what I like, the seats are absolutely beautiful to sit in, as I've said, massage function, as the only car in this class, another absolutely crucial feature for the car, this Peugeot, it feels like a, like a diamond in the class, it's just so luxurious, the design is fantastic of the car, it's, it's one of the nicest cars really to, to drive. Um, and also change here in the in this pi piano shortcuts so you have these three buttons that react very quickly which I like you can very quickly turn off the lane assist start and stop go go to home screen or set the air conditioning and then also another new thing in the infotainment is that if you put the reversing camera you have a much higher quality rear view camera in the car which I'm not sure you can see at the moment as the sun is shining at us but yeah that's the that's the novelty and also the novelty is that we have a finally an R, an rpm counter ref counter here in the in the digital dashboard in you know digital instrument cluster ahead of me and also I think which I'm slightly surprised because other hybrids for example the 408 hybrid didn't have it instead of this button other than in the transmission you don't have the B for the battery regeneration but the M for manual mode of the transmission which is fantastic and what you can do for the sporty drive well you can put the car into the from the normal into sports mode which what I will do you engage this manual mode and that's about it you cannot turn off the stability system because in the Peugeot it always turn, gets turned on again so yeah, other things in terms of practicality, good space for the bottle, this sort of a cave for wireless charging, uh, another storage area here, 12 volt socket here, two cup holders, and look at how deep the armrest, uh, the armrest is, quite deep, right? The, sit the sitting position, really nice and low for the car, I, I hold this beautiful thin and small kart karting like steering wheel, the only thing I'm missing is the real handbrake. I, I, you only get this luxurious electronic parking one, right? Well, let's try it again. So, four, five. Okay, so when you're when you're at the top of the rev range, the car changes gear itself. But other than that, it kept me doing what I want. So there is a biker behind me
Okay, let's let's try now. Maybe we're not gonna catch any traffic. So, yeah. Sharp turning, very nicely balanced. Maybe if we were too aggressive, the rear rotates and if there was a bad surface, but here is really, it's really a nice surface. So it's completely the opposite. The gearbox, really beautiful. So the gearbox is like, uh, I like a machine gun, I like that. It, it changes, it changes gears really fast. Uh, that's, that's always to laugh. So I have to say this Peugeot and I like the, the center of the gravity in this car is being so low. The cars like the Polo or the Renault Clio, they are the practical everyday B-class hatchbacks. This is this is still practical, but this is the, you can you can feel that they've 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 actually thought about how to make it engaging and yeah, the the center of gravity, how small it is, is definitely a crucial part of the driving experience. And it allows it to have that toe in on the rear wheels to, to be a little bit more engaging. It doesn't have to be all boring and stable, like the Golf and Polo, uh, like the Go like the Polo and the Clio, right? So, and we, you have a beautiful steering, beautifully weighted, not too not too stiff, very precise. It's actually a really nice driver's experience. In the past. At the 130 horsepower was also, you could have a good car with 130 horsepower because the cars were light. And in our days, the cars are very heavy, but this car, despite being 1300 kilos, it's still considered lightweight today. So you can basically enjoy having a lightweight car this way. So yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty good. Now there is a dip. And the thing I like about the Peugeot, it manages these dips and undulations flat. It's, yeah, it's really nice. It's not falling into them. It's just going flat through. That's the correct behavior there should be. And I really do admire that. And now with this hybrid, maybe let's let's stop talking about the driver's experience. Uh, it's really great. It's one of the best in this class. But let's now talk about the new powertrain. So the, this new powertrain, is a hybrid they say it's supposed to do 4.6 liters per hundred kilometers on on average and well I have so far now with the driving quickly I have six but I had like 5.6 5.7 fuel economy uh, on the long time average but what is true is that you can do short city or suburban drives on these 4.3 4.4 liters per hundred kilometers so this hybrid uh, actually works although you have a you have quite a small battery of only 0 0.2 kilowatt hours um, so yeah and the net capacity of this battery is only 0 0.43 kilowatt hours the behavior of the of the hybrid powertrain is quite good it tries to initiate the electric drive quite quite often although it's not it's not doing it as often as the honda hybrids or the toyota hybrids so it could be could be could be done even in a slightly better way but it but it's actually doing it doing it quite well uh, when you put the car in the sports mode like i have now it it doesn't have any hybrid behavior you have 136 horsepower the petrol engine petrol engine runs all the time and also if you have the car in the manual modes at that time you can also have the normal and the hybrid the car will still run the engine if you turn it off go into drive into the automatic mode it starts driving like a hybrid right uh, i have to say other than that, that i really do love the comfort of the car the only thing in terms of comfort that i think are not ideal is i think i i actually think those wheels are, are too big for a car to be comfortable so yeah I think I think that would be about it is there something else I need to tell you let's come to the likes and dislikes so in between the dislikes I have to say is the brake pedal which is quite soft um, and while it has it has a good uh, connection in between the region braking and the friction braking the softness is is not ideal when you're driving dynamically like this 
and uh, yeah then well I think it would be maybe the, the price I mean I understand the price that it costs 28,000 euros this GT line you can get it for much cheaper I think 20 23 something like that I do understand because it's a really it feels like a luxurious small car luxurious city car the quality is really nice in here the materials are nice the design is tremendous probably the best design there is in a small car segment so I, I, I completely do under, understand the price but small cars in the past they were always about being affordable and this is not not quite that right um, but then there are lights which are plenty so I think this hybrid powertrain works it gives you the good economy gives you the economy of a diesel car right and it, it has a good power and I think this three-cylinder Peugeot Stellantis engine is a really good engine I mean it, it has ground it has decent ground low end although not as good as the Ford EcoBoost and yeah it has nice drivability made it to this IC in automatic gearbox even though we don't have eight gears like it's usual we have only six it's a really nice gearbox I love that's a very good thing that I like that you have a dedicated manual mode for gear for the gearbox so you can engage in the driving experience and it 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 steps up the level of this car of its drivers engagement that it gives you so that's a really really good thing and I'm and I'm so glad they didn't put the B mode there but they've put this M, M mode for manual I really do love that about it uh, and then there is the suspension conception and the lightness of the car so you have a decent light car 1330 kilos I think it was you have a great conception the driver is sitting quite far from the front wheels as he can as far as he can in this in this sort of a car we have a positive caster that makes the car lean onto the outer rear wheel um, while the rear is not the most stable which is what I actually like because it depends on the sort of a driver you are if you want a stable car you go for the Polo or, or the Clio if you want the engage, engaging car to drive that, that can slide and rotate the rear you should definitely go for this because you have a tow-in and it can, it can certainly rotate and then I li what I like is that apart from the great driver experience that you get you also get very good comfortability so the car just floats above the really bad road surface uh, it, it, it always lands flat after the undulations and the bumps so again the correct behavior in in this regard so yeah and also I was surprised how big the boot is I didn't know that it's as big 387 liters at least that's what I found on the internet so that's really practical again so yeah I mean Peugeot 208 a pretty lovely small city car I really do admire and respect it for being such characterful little car it has it has a very it has a very nice character it's engaging to drive yet so practical and also it's fantastically probably the best looking car in this class um, so yeah I think that would be it to the Peugeot 208 hybrid well if you like the video more videos are of course coming on very soon and in the meantime take care and goodbye and now you can have a look at me driving on this beautiful bit of road Let's put it in the sports again Fifty, no problem with this car. That's crazy.